Okay, I've moved under the layout now, and basically I just connected the two bus wires that I had hooked into my rail A and my rail B connection. I apologize, you probably can't see that, but if you're familiar with the Digitrack system, you know that rail A and rail, rail B are the first two connectors from the right. So basically I just have my two feeders that I just soldered, and I'm going to drop this one into rail B, get that nice and tight. And then my red one into rail A. Okay, I don't have any power yet, but you can see I'm in HO scale, and then I'm in run mode. I don't have it plugged in just yet. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. I do have the Digitrax approved power supply with this unit. I bought it with it. I don't remember exactly offhand the uh, um, the model number on it, but I do know that it's a Digitrax power supply. So you can see this is what my command station is doing. So let's go ahead and move back up to the front of the layout. Okay, I just have this uh, the. Two wires that I just soldered are right here. Three brand new pieces of nine inch nickel silver track. Ignore that, that's my programming track. I'm going to show you here's my DT402. I do have my Digitrack system on. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my UP5. Okay, so we're ready to go here. Just because this is a new solder, what I'm going to do is I just have my little uh, multimeter here. I'm going to turn the track power on. So the track power is on. And I'm going to try to do this. I only have two hands. So let's see if I can do this here. So I'm going to take and just touch the rails. You're going to have to take my word for it. I'm getting 13.09 volts running through the track. So I'm going to turn the track power off. I'm going to grab my locomotive. We're going to take it for a test bin. Okay, I have my locomotive on the rails here. I have not tested this out yet, so we're going to see if this works. So, i got the locomotive on. I'm going to go ahead and power up. Uh, turn on the power to the track. It should go up through the startup sequence here. It would help if I turn the power on. There we go. So I've been able to get to, get to it at this point on my layout, but as soon as I put power to it, let's see if it goes. And it's doing the exact same thing that it was doing before. Just very erratic running, it won't run smooth. It jerks. Some of the functions turn on, like the bell. So I don't know, I'm going to turn the power off here, I don't know what my issue is. I know that it is not the locomotive because again I tested it on FT Lots layout and again I really appreciate he's been a wealth of information for me. This is brand new track, brand, you know, the only thing I can think of I've got one of two issues. I've got a soldering technique issue which I want your feedback on or I have an issue with my Digitrack system. That's the only two things that I can think of. Again, this is brand new track, brand new rail joiners. It's, it's clean. Actually here, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna take my bright boy to it and see if that helps. 
Okay, I just used my Bright Boy on the track. Still got my alcohol Q-tip I just took. And we made sure that it wasn't the, uh, made sure we didn't have any dirty wheels on the locomotive. We tested that out. So, I mean, you can really see, I mean, there might have been a little bit of stuff on there, but nothing, nothing too bad. Probably just came from the factory. So let's drop the locomotive on here one more time. Turn the track power on. Give it a little juice. Still doing it. So there you have it. Uh, I am extremely frustrated. I have no idea what the issue is. I, this is as simple as it gets. I'm trying to eliminate anything. So really the only two things that I can think of, it's either I've got an issue with my Digitrack system or I have a soldering technique because I just don't understand what else it could be. Like I said, I absolutely verified this locomotive works perfect on a different layout and that that layout actually had a digitrack system as well so uh... let me know your thoughts let me know your suggestions i'm i'm frustrated so i appreciate your time thank you very much